Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome to Jay's World. So let's cook. That's right. It is 2019, and this is the very first Cooking with Jay of 2019. How y'all been doing? Can you believe it? Well, anyway, today we are going to cook turkey burgers. That's right. And not just any turkey burgers. Jay's show enough, show enough, sexy body roll. Uh, boy, did I just really do that? <laughs> anyway, these are Jay's show enough sexy turkey burgers. All right, so look, I know everybody's in the gym right now. You know, it's the beginning of the year. You've already gotten started on your gym memberships, you know. Uh, I, look, I'm no different from you guys. I'm in the gym every morning at 5 a.m. I know, at insane o'clock in the morning. I know, judge me if you will. That's cool, that's cool. But anyway, so I know what it's like. You know, you, you want to get that body just fit and just right, and you want a low-cal, keto-friendly turkey burger. This is definitely the sandwich for you. All right? So with all of that said, let's get started. All right, y'all. These are the ingredients for Jay's super, super sexy turkey burger. We have Worcestershire sauce, one egg using the egg white only, black pepper, chili powder, sea salt, and of course, one pound of ground turkey. Mmm, can't wait for y'all to taste the sexiness. Guys, so first we're gonna get started with our fresh ground turkey. Now this turkey is 90% uh, lean with only 7% fat. So I definitely like, you know, I like my turkey as lean as possible, okay? Uh, this turkey is by Purdue. They make the turkey, so. I'm not giving them a, a commercial or anything like that, but I just kind of want to let you know what brand of ground turkey that I like. All right, so got our ground turkey. Let's open her up. Oh, it's really juicy. Nice and juicy. All right, so we're going to add our ground turkey to our bowl. This is a pretty uh, sizable bowl. Oh, so you really don't need too big of a bowl to really do what you need to do. Okay, so now that I've placed my turkey in my bowl, and by the way, guys, my hands are completely clean. Okay, completely clean. Thanks to Joyce Marie Bean, my mom. She did not play about cleaning your hands in the kitchen. All right, so got my turkey in the bowl. So I want to season this turkey up really nice. Now, you guys can add whatever seasonings you want, okay, to your turkey. Now, for this particular recipe, this is Jay's recipe, okay, I like to add about a, I don't know, about a tablespoon of salt, about a half tablespoon, half tablespoon of salt, black ground, freshly ground black pepper, some uh, chili powder, smoked chili powder. I like that smokiness. It just adds to the color and the, and the flavor of the ground turkey. Because here's the thing about ground turkey. Now granted, yes, I do love to, I love turkey burgers, but I like that idea that even though yes, it's a turkey burger, somehow maybe I'm still eating, you know, like ground beef or whatever, you know, even though I know it's a turkey burger, I know it sounds weird, but I just, I like that whole cross hybrid thing in my mind, even though I'm eating a turkey burger, but hmm, maybe I'm, eat, maybe I'm having ground beef, you know. So, <laughs> so then let's add some uh, Worcestershire sauce. And this is about roughly about a tablespoon, you know. Again, just add, just layering the flavor. Okay. All right, so now, I am going to add one egg. I'm not gonna add the whole egg. I'm going to hold off on the egg yolk, okay? I don't want the yellow part. We just want the egg whites. And the reason why I'm adding egg whites to my turkey burger, because here's the thing about cooking turkey burgers. Sometimes turkey can dry out when you're grilling it. So you have to really, really be careful. And the best way that I've known to really make a turkey burger nice and juicy to the bite is by adding egg whites. Now some people use whole eggs, but this is a healthy video. So I'm just trying to pull the fat out, okay? So we just wanna go for the egg whites. And I think I've separated an egg before on this channel. So you guys know 
that I'm not a cook. I never claimed to be one, so I will try to separate. <laughs> I will try to separate the yellow part from the white part as best as possible. All right, so here we go. This always makes me nervous. All right, guys. All right, so oh, okay, okay, so far, okay, so far, so good. Okay, all right, all right. And I think, let's see. Voila. It has been successfully separated. Okay, I didn't get all of it, so let's see if I can get all of it in there. I want to get as much of the egg white as possible into this turkey burger, you know. For the amount of turkey that, I, uh, that I'm cooking, you know, I just want it, uh, one will pretty much suffice. Okay, so I guess it's pretty, that's pretty good, all right. All right, so I just grabbed another bowl, so I'm gonna add my egg whites to the secondary bowl. That way, I, when I whip it up, I don't have like a big old mess. So let's just go ahead and whip up our egg whites. All right, so I think my egg whites are pretty whipped up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg whites to my turkey mixture. Get all of those in there. All right. So, see that? I got all of my ingredients. I have my chili powder, I have my salt. Well, actually sea salt, I like sea salt. So I have my sea salt, my chili powder, my egg whites, and my Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, use my hands, my clean hands, and ground this up. And make sure you distribute all of your uh, seasonings evenly, okay? All right, so now that I have all of my ingredients into my turkey mixture, let's make turkey patties. Okay, with this being about one pound of ground turkey, I'm gonna say this would probably make roughly five decent sized turkey burgers. So that'll be good a good serving for two people, you know. I'm not gonna say three people because I don't know about you, but I'm a pretty, you know, I, I can I can be pretty greedy, okay? I can be pretty greedy, so. <laughs> so I think it's just enough for two, two guys. Maybe three skinny girls and two regular sized guys. All right, so let's make the, let's make the patties. All right, so grab a little handful of there. And I think this should be one nice size. Hemp. That should be one nice size, Patty. All right. Grab another one. Well, I don't know, y'all. I thought this was going to make five patties, probably just four, which is cool for me. Because I like to eat. And you know what, y'all? It's just really nice to be able to eat and eat guilt-free, especially when you're trying to get your body together. You know what I mean? So that's why I love turkey burgers. I love turkey bacon. Turkey really is a great protein, and it does duplicate a lot of our favorite uh, foods, and you can eat them guilt-free. Here's my patty number two. And you know what, guys? This will only make four patties like I said so great for two people or one super greedy greedy person so I'm sorry you know if you sitting down eating four patties really come on now <laughs> now nah, I'm just joking hey eat what you want to eat baby you know what I'm saying it's all good all right so here's uh, patty number three nice size patty and last but not least this will make patty number four. Make sure we get all that ground beef out of there. I'm sorry. See, look at that. See, look at that. I'm already thinking of ground beef. I mean, get all that ground turkey out of there, out of the bowl. And this will make for turkey patty number four. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, they even sort of look like uh, ground beef, if you know what I mean. Mmm, mmm, nice. All right, so let's put them on the grill. 
All right, y'all. So let the games begin. Now I have my grill set at about a medium high. Ooh, these burgers really are juicy. Good lord. <laughs> so anyway, I have my grill set at about a medium high heat. So it should be just nice and hot. Ooh. Y'all hear that? That's called progress, baby. Two. Three. And four. Now, I tell you what. I sort of plopped those uh, burgers on my grill because they really are juicy. I think between the natural juices and also the, um, the egg whites, they really make them nice and juicy, which is actually a good thing. That's exactly a good problem to have when you're making turkey burgers. That's exactly what you want. You want them so juicy that you literally will have to plop them on your grill. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm smelling them already. I'm smelling the smoked chick, uh, the smoked chili powder, the pepper, the salt, and the Worcestershire. All right, so guys, let's go ahead and just give them a flip. They've been cooking for about a couple minutes. Y'all see that, baby? Look at that. Look at those real marks. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, oh, that is beautiful, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I swear, y'all, the day I'm able to come up with smell of vision I am going to be a rich man because these burgers smell absolutely amazing. So what we want to do is just go ahead, let them cook for a couple minutes on, on the opposite side, and the burgers really should be done. You do not want to cook, and I repeat, you do not want to overcook turkey burgers, okay? It really doesn't take long to cook uh, turkey burgers anyway, you know? You want them nice and cooked well through at about a couple minutes on each side, get you some caramelization and some grill marks there, and maybe you should be all set. All right, guys, so I do believe the turkey burgers are ready to be taken off of the grill. Burger one. Burger two. Burger three. And burger four. Look at that. Oh my God. Woo-wee! Mmm. Man, those smell so good. And I promise you, they look as good as they smell. All right, so let's get them plated and eat. And voila. Ah, look at that. We have our grilled turkey burgers. Keto friendly. Now, I like cheese on my hamburgers. So, you know, I have my little mixture of uh, Colby and Jack cheese that I'll add to that. If you want to use a bun, use a bun but for all of my people that are super strict and really trying to watch the carbs and the calories and to make it really keto friendly this actually is a low carb uh, tortilla wrap okay so I'm gonna use that so let's go ahead and grab one of the burgers I'll add that to my low carb tortilla wrap I'm gonna add some shredded cheese. I like lots of cheese, y'all. All right, and I'm also gonna grab my half and half mix. This is like a mixture of uh, spinach and uh, lettuce. And we got a nice little healthy mixture there. All right, so add that on top. Now, I'm not big on condiments, you know. I'm, so, I'm sort of a burger purist, you know, even when I have my regular hamburgers, you know, I don't put a lot of condiments on mine, but you can, you know, just make sure that you know that ketchup does have sugar in it if you're on keto. 
and also you can add uh, mayo or mustard. All right, so I'm just going to have my burger just the way it is. And now we will give it a taste. Oh, Lord, y'all, I hope this is juicy. Because it looks juicy. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Baby. Man. Y'all, this is probably even juicier than I thought it was going to be. Wow, this is really, really good. Can you see that? See if I can squeeze some of that juice up out of that. Baby, this is really good. Mmm. I mean, literally, look at that. Did y'all see that? There's actual juice. Actual juice coming out of the turkey burger. It is that juicy and moist. And I really do. That mixture plus the egg white really help with the juiciness and the and just pulling all those all of those flavors together. You can literally see that. Look at that. I'm not even joking. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even lying to y'all. Y'all can see it for yourselves. Man, this is a sexy hamburger. So like I said, you can use a bun if you want to. But um, yeah, there it is. Jay's show enough, mm, 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 turkey burger. Now that's what's up. All right, guys. So there we have it. Jay's show enough, mm, mm. Ooh, sexy, mmm, sexy body roll. Sexy, sexy sandwich. I know, y'all, I'm being so extra today. Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. It was really, really delicious. As you could clearly see for yourself, that mixture that I used between the egg white and the Worcestershire sauce, it just really marinated all of those flavors together and you had a really nice, juicy turkey burger because not all turkey burgers are created equal let's just be honest <laughs> but that one was absolutely delicious you guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you for sticking with me this again this is our first cooking with jay for 2019 Woo! so give yourselves a round of applause all right so that's it guys that's all i have for you today please don't forget to rate comment and do what subscribe what are you waiting on you know i'm running into people in the street saying hey i love your show i'm watching it and i go well did you subscribe they go well no i didn't subscribe you guys it's okay <laughs> please subscribe all right so that's it that's all i got guys you take care and i will holler at you later peace